Westside High School. We're here on the Corey Roberts Show. I'm here with Freshman Academy Director Adam Comstock. Mr. Comstock, talk to us a little bit about the one-on-one -on -one initiative with the Chromebooks that we started here at Westside and throughout the district. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? I was on my Chromebook right here. Mr. Comstock, can you take us through the one-on-one -on -one initiative with, with Family Live We're on the Corey Roberts Show? Okay, yes. Well, listen, as you all know... Um, As soon as possible will help us make or will help make this process so much easier okay so that's the first thing second thing is you will be called by grade level 10th 11th and 12th graders obviously um, to a meeting area whether that be the Commons or the AV room or whatnot but um, we're gonna have meetings by grade level to give these out to you um, and and talk about um, the Responsible Use Handbook or the One-to-One -one Handbook um, and we will also be having some parent meetings as well so just keep your ears open and your eyes open for announcements regarding um, those types of things and the deadline oh obviously the deadline is ASAP okay for these to be turned in but the true deadline to have these turned in is going to be December the 19th. Okay, so be on the lookout for this. It's an exciting time here at Westside High School in Anderson School District 5. Um, we're changing education. Thank you, Mr. Comstock. Again, Westside, make sure you pay attention to the requirements and make sure you get these forms turned back in. Thank you. Westside, I'm here with Mike Robinson, Tim Merriweather, and Daquan Telly, three members of the Ram Tough defense, aka Savage Squad. So guys, how does it feel to set out him your senior year? Well, it feels awesome, you know. They've been getting us for the past three years and finally to go out on our senior year, beat them forty six to zero, man, it's it's unfathomable. So Okay. So um a huge student section, I mean how does that help you in the game? Uh, I feel like a, a student session, it can dictate the game by how hype it is. As you saw, when the student session was hype, we was hype, and the scoreboard proved it. Okay. So, uh, we got a home playoff game coming up against York. How do we feel about it? Well, um, for a team that, you know, didn't too, do, do too well in the past five years, uh, it means a lot for not only the school, but for the community. We just want to make everybody proud. So, Mr. Roberts, what did you think about the uh, trick-or-treat event we had a couple weeks ago? I was very pleased with the turnout that we had. We served over 2,200 students, um, and that's not counting all of the, the parents. You know, I really got kind of nervous. I went to the student parking lot. I saw several church vans. also saw a school bus. So that kind of scared me because I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, we didn't dismiss the whole school to come here, but it was a great event for our kids. Hope we can make it an annual event. Um, very pleased with the participation from our students, our faculty, staff. Um, you had to be here to see it. We had games, uh, an exciting day, got a lot of good compliments from this community, and, and I look forward to doing it again. the veteran 
Veterans Day assembly? Uh, Veterans Day program yesterday, um, well, excuse me, on Monday, was a, a great event for our um, JRTC. They did a great job organizing the, the event. I actually told one of the kids in the RTC, I didn't have to do a thing but show up and do my part. They organized everything, the parking, getting the veterans in. So I want my, my hat goes off to our ROTC program and their instructors and, and look forward to that event as well next year. We also, um, today, students, it's early release day. That's very important for me because we are releasing you early. So I should not see you on campus after we get um, through the bus and the cars. We'll make some special announcements, but make sure you leave campus, you exit our building, and make sure you take care of yourself. Hey Westside, I'm here with Courtney Johnson and Joy Dempsey, and also Rachel Zug is on the district's competitive cheer team, but she is not here with us. So girls, how does it feel to win Regents? Winning Regents was really awesome, and it made me feel really proud of my team because they haven't done that before, and it was just really cool to experience that with the team like that. So how does it feel to make the state? Um, to make it the state, it makes me feel really proud to know that um, how much work and effort we put through because nobody really realizes like how much work competitive cheer you do because like spirit cheer is a whole different thing from competitive cheer because you put way much more time and effort into it. I think Joy can vouch for that too. But um it makes you feel really proud to be on the team that you know you say we've made it to the next level. We've made it, you know, to upper state, we're going there, you know, and most people can't say they did that. So kinda of, I don't know, it just really makes you humble. So So how are you preparing for the competition? Um, lots of time and yeah. work, practicing a lot. Um, everything into our practices that we do, like, there's no slacking at all. Like, we're all going full force. Yeah, given 110 percent, I guess it's what takes you to the next level. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, and practicing three to four days a week. Could you that much more? So. Well, glad to hear that. Rooting you on. Root them all, Westside. This time, Westside, I would like to announce our Who's Who for 2014-15. Our girls, Micaiah Johnson, Carissa Tucker, Taylor Campbell, Caroline Dunn, Amy Hubbard, Bailey Clark, Jessica Jones, Taylor Brunin, Courtney Johnson, Lexi Edwards, Sydney Thompson, Deja Lee. Congratulations, young lady, on this, on these, on this great accomplishment. And now for our boys, Jacob Oster, Emmanuel Ayala, John Starks, Hassani Brown, Ryan Brock, Corey Roberts, Tim Merriweather, Michael Holden, Antonio Harrison, Noah White, Tyler Williams, Taylor White. Again, students, congratulations on being who's who voted on by the faculty staff here at Westside High School. And I would just like to announce the Ram Pride winners for this week. Joshua Norris, Kelly Barson, Paula Garcia, Cameron Spear, Natalie Kirkus, Tyreek Iskier, and Jesus Sosa. Please come to claim your prize. Have you been a Ram Pride winner yet? <laughs> okay, the best thing you can do, again, you're kind of slipping at home a little bit, but if you can wash the car, dishes, and press your teachers. Students are very proud of our Ram Pride winners. We put them on our marquee every week, continue to do great things. Teachers, I appreciate you for nominating our students for Ram Prize.